Okay, so hello everybody, it's me O'Neal Gerald again, and I'm here on my computer, and uh, we're gonna do a breakdown of a new song that I just put out, it's called um, Broken Walls, uh, and it features a sample from Yeba's My Mind, and I wanted to show you guys how I came up with this sample. I'm gonna just play it for you, uh, just a little bit. Here we go. I'm about to lose my 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 Okay, so I so there I am. There goes the delay. Um, uh, I wanted to show you guys how I came up with that. So right over here, I have um, the original sample. Uh, and as you can tell, or for those of you that know the song, the song is a lot slower than what I had there. Um, okay. Yeah, it's very slow. You close the door and lay down next to me. It's very, very, very slow. And so what I wanted to do, I was already imagining in my head that I wanted it to sound like about to lose my, about to lose, and I wanted it at that tempo, uh, because even uh, as we get closer to into the song, we have a little bit of chopping and screwing that's going on, uh, just right here. About to lose my, about to lose my. Okay, so in order for me to get that, I had to speed up the tempo of this. So I see that my tempo here is 215. If I were to tap the tempo, um, it would be around there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The reason it's 215 is because I made the quarter note um, uh, just about at that tempo. I didn't want to, um, I wanted to be able to zoom in a little bit easier, so that's why it, it's at 215, but really it's at half of 215, which is about 107, uh, which is pretty moderate tempo. But anyway, back to the sample. So I'm gonna find this, uh, about to lose my, that part that I want. Um, let's find it. Mama, hi, yeah. About to lose. There it is. Okay, so let's uh, move in there. Another thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take off that reverb um, because it's just very, very, very present right now. Um, I'm just going to tick. I'm about to. There we go. Um, and you can even hear it. it sounds a little bit different. I'll show you why. Um, I'm about to lose my. Okay, so we found it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip exactly at the the beginning of where this um, sample starts. About to so right just about here. There's the guitar, and that's going to mark the beginning of the bar. So that will make it easier for me. And then I'm just going to click that out. Um, do 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 do. I'm about to. There we go. Um, let's just get to the end of this thing. I'm going to turn this down just a little bit for my sake. I'm about to lose my. Okay, there we go. So that's the entirety of the sample right there. So let's just cut that off there. I'm about to lose my. I'm about to lose my. Okay, so then if we have a full bar there, that would be the one, two, three, and four, I would want all of this to be able to fit into this pl into this place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the left side of the playlist and I'm gonna click this stretch option right here. And what that is going to do is it's going to allow me when I am uh, clicking the end of the, um, of the clip, it's going to allow me to either stretch it uh, further or to diminish it um, like that. So I'm going to bring it um, down to about here and it should help me a lot. There may be some more uh, clipping that I need to do, but here we go. I'm about to lose my okay, so that's way too fast. I'm going to make it double that length. And for you, whenever you're doing your samples, it just really depends on how on how fast you want it. All you need to do is just get four bars of the really great sample and just cut it so that you that it's around at a full bars value. You get four full beats or a full bar of whatever music that you're doing. 
and then you just um, allow the markers that are here in the gray in the the black and gray over here to deter to help you to determine where you're going to actually put um, the clip so I'm at 215 I know that these markers are marking 215 so I'm going to diminish the clip to about two bars uh, two bars in this case I'm about to lose my I'm about to lose my there we go so let's let's click this um metronome this make sure it's okay I'm about to lose my okay so that's one thing that also happened uh the my because she was singing this live it came a little bit um early so what i needed to do and in fact i can just bring you over to the actual sample here is i put a little bit of a space in there you can see that i put a little bit of a space there so that the my ends up right on the beat I'm about to lose my got it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit of what I did with the sample. So um, as you can see here, I did I played a little bit with the frequencies. I took out all of the low the low end because when the beat comes in, I'm going to have a large 808 and um, and a sub kick there that are just uh, filling up all of that space. So I don't want any of that there. Also, the guitar is very much in the way in this particular sample. So I wanted to get it out of there as much as I, as much as possible. Also, the mic that um, Yebo was using had a little bit of this high end tang that I needed to get rid of. So um, uh, I'll just play it. In, in fact, I'll loop it here so that you can um, get a little bit of the idea, idea of what I did. And again, I'll take off the reverb. I'm about to lose my I'm about to lose my So right here I'm about to lose my Yeah There was a little bit of a tang I just needed to take that out I'm about to And everything else is the low end so I took that out as well and now we have uh, my sample. I'll show you uh, a little bit of the drop. Um, it's not super stellar because I didn't mix these on studio monitors, but it is what it is. Um, this is uh, broken walls. I'm about to lose my forgot to, forgot to put on the here we go. Okay, this is what it actually is. I'm about to lose my I'm about to lose my And the pad was added by me. Everything I'm about to lose my 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 I'm about to lose so that's it um you can go to the broken walls um uh add the full song that's there you can also subscribe to this youtube channel because this is the place where we think deeply so that we create art that changes the world uh this is like my second fl studio tutorial i hope you are enjoying it i and i hope to see you in my next video whether i'm behind the computer or in front of the camera i'm O'Neill gerald and i'll see you later bye bye